so here we are. Back As again. <laughs> Full of energy. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is what we this is what we get for recording late. Yeah, yeah. it's not very thick. Was that a snail yes. that I saw as you were going? Oh that that is definitely a snail. Ooh! With a Fumachi. Crystal snail. Yeah. That's like one of, that's like the fifth Indiana Jones movie or something. <laughs> <laughs> the low budget one. Yeah. <laughs> so I there's a lot to talk about in this level. This is the weapon that we just got. Sonic Slicer, it bounces off walls. It's kinda Did neat. you just fast forward wow. that? Uh no, actually, there's like ice on the ramps there and it makes you slide down them like super fast. So oh. There's a heart tank way on the other side of this big cavern, and there's a couple ways to get it. The first is to use that and the strike chain <laughs> to jump over there. The timing is kind of tricky on that, but uh, yeah, basically that's one way to do it. And they're kind enough to give you a platform on the way back. This game was made when gamers had faith that there would be yeah, something on the other side. Exactly. Of the I was going to say <laughs> the other way is there's kind of a, a glitch with that thing. If you keep swinging like the spike fist while you're in midair, you'll actually go a little bit further than you would. So, yeah, it kind of freezes your animation. Or yeah, something. so you can use that to get across without having to use the strike chain. Um, you can also use like a... somebody posted a video in the thread that's like you can use a special like five like five air dash technique. It's like kind of an exploit. It's sounds intense. It is, actually. It's pretty ridiculous, and, yeah. So, there's that. So you just, you just had to, like, make that block slide out before you yeah. get the walker back? There's a few of those in this level. It's kind of the gimmick. Okay. And there's a lot of, like, there's a lot of interesting little glitches with this ride armor here. Uh, we won't see another one for a little bit yet, but this is kind of a fun level for this, for this thing right here. Yeah, that's cool. You don't get too many vehicles actually in this game. Also, we're heading up here. This is where the air dash really comes in handy for like platforming, because it sends you straight across. So it's just a lot easier to like precision platform if you can dash straight across in midair. Yeah. And also, that's... also, now we get to meet Agile. This is Mr. Fast X, right? Yes. Yeah. He lives up to his name, believe me. He looks incredibly self-satisfied. Yeah. <laughs> he's he's not particularly hard. I find him to be the easiest one of the three X Hunters. Just because he's got a really simple pattern, but if you get into the right rhythm with his pattern, you can basically just keep him there and keep shooting at him. But as soon as oh, he... I see, yeah. As soon as he, like, pauses, then it really screws me up, like right here. He just stops for a second and doesn't do anything, and it just totally screws me up. <laughs> or sometimes he'll, like, go across the screen and hit me, and it's just... I don't know. He's just kind of annoying. Yeah. Well, he's not a good say... samurai. I have to say, I do like his attack animation, so... He's pretty cool. Uh, when he does like the when he sends the projectiles low across the screen, you can actually dash underneath them. Mm. But you need to be pretty pretty quick with it. Oh, he's, he hasn't changed facial expressions at all, so I think he's cool with it. Yeah. He may have failed, but no big deal. Exactly. Zero part where these his feet. Um. Yeah, actually. <laughs> oh, and um, right after this is probably the biggest. Uh, dick move of the entire series. They put. Oh man, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? They put instant kill spikes right underneath there. That is wow. cool. The good thing is we don't have to fight agile again. We keep I like how that. they how they do it on this level too, where if you take the leap of faith earlier, it rewards you. And yeah. You know, an innocuous looking ledge, and it's like ha. Yeah. <laughs> you're dead. It's pretty. So first they first they get your confidence, and then they. Destroy they squash it. it like a bug. Yeah. Basically, yeah. I was I was not impressed with that because I I completely <laughs> forgot about it when I was recording it, and I was like, oh great, now I have to re-record it. I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna bother. 
This needs to be known. This needs to be seen. This is a public service announcement brought to you by whoever we are. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Those guys. Yeah. This looks kind of annoying. It is. Uh, it gets a lot more annoying now. And there's also uh, slowdown. <laughs> Too much. But yeah, that's not a very hard mini boss. There's actually a second way to beat that mini boss. Again, back with the ride armor here. This is where we get to our other little glitch with it. Um, once you clear out a certain amount of the crystal blocks in here, you can jump up to this little ledge and uh, have a little bit of trouble with this enemy up here. There we go. So, you can't make that jump normally if you just hold down the button. But if you rapidly tap the button t while you're in midair hovering, you actually get more height and you can make that jump. And you can actually kind of smuggle the ride armor into the boss fight, which makes it ridiculously easy to kill this thing. Cool. <laughs> I just noticed that the ride armor, if you look at the torso like a face, it looks really stoned. <laughs> <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> yeah. I'm paying attention to what you're saying too, but you know, I gotta, <laughs> I gotta deliver the relevant commentary. Well, multitasking. Yes, yeah, of course. Oh, and these bats again. I forgot what the name of this ride armor is. It's like... Oh. The ride armor mark IV or something. No, it's got like a name. It's like a bunny or something. It's weird. I have no idea why it's oh, called that. Oh, that's intimidating. But... It's in the credits, I know that, but I can't okay. remember what it is right now. If I'm making powered suits for, you know, soldiers, I wouldn't name it the bunny. Yeah, well, of course. <laughs> Bunnies have, like, spikes on their hands, right? Yeah, totally. Yeah, if you yeah everyone I've seen. Yeah. <laughs> they also shoot lasers out of their ears. <laughs> oh, call back to our What else in the years before? <laughs> oh, this sounds really useful. Uh, it's not. By which I meant it's not. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, it sounds like it could be useful, but it's not. It's just... It's really situational. And, and once you know where all the stuff is... Yeah, once you know where all the secrets are, you'll never use it again. Alright. And unless you're, so like, scanning every single screen, then some of these secrets you will pretty much never find. Oh, wow. Some of them are hidden pretty in pretty stupid spots that, like <laughs> I said, you would never find unless you were, like, going across and scanning every part of the level. I think the game designers are just like, you know how we can add another hour of gameplay? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. By making every six-year-old in America, you know, scan every screen. Yep. That's, that's how it goes. <laughs> well, that's the game design philosophy of, like, the Super Nintendo. It's true. And, like, oh. MMO MMOs. And <laughs> yeah, that, they had sort of graduated stuff. into MMOs. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh. Let's hunt wolves for three hours. Oh, man. I really hope Guild Wars 2 is good. Oh, right. That exists. Man, yeah. It come out. <laughs> oh yeah, it God, does exist. About well, it. it will exist. It is. Well, it does exist. It just. It start. Yeah. It's just not public. Not public. Yeah. Yet. There you go. Jeez. <laughs> I totally even forgot. I, I thought I was supposed to. Be, was it supposed to be out like a year ago? I don't know. <laughs> 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 I, yeah, I Screw I just you. Don't know. I thought it was. <laughs> I mean. Whoa. All... That was like hypnotizing. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Right if that was a real snail, he wouldn't he'd be dead by now because he wouldn't be able to get off his back. <laughs> if that was a real snail, he wouldn't shoot things that crystallize me either. Oh, I've seen snails shoot things. I won't go into details though. <laughs> you can imagine. <laughs> okay then. He's in your nightmares. Yeah. I, think, I think I have a few videos about that. <laughs> He's got a pretty yeah, this guy is. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> He's got a pretty predictable pattern. Um, yeah, every time he freezes you, he tries to hit you with his shell. Oh, yeah, he's got a rocket in his shell, too. It takes him forever to wind up that shell rocket, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not... He's like, alright, he's frozen for five seconds, let's take ten. And then... Yeah. <laughs> well, sometimes he's a bit faster. I don't really know what determines it. And Maybe his health? Yeah, or... sometimes he goes twice, too. Okay. He actually has another trick up his sleeve that he doesn't 
he doesn't use until like the very end of this fight. But it can be really annoying if you get hit with it. Especially if he uses it a lot. I get hit with that a lot. And it's <laughs> really annoying. But it's hard for him to follow up, so whatever. Yeah. Oops. This boss, fighting this boss with his weakness is probably one of the most fun in like the entire series. Just because you can really screw with him. Is his weakness salt by any chance? Or? <laughs> <laughs> well, see, that's the confusing part, because this is a crystal snail, and salt is a crystal. Well, that is very true. So, oh, he's, true. maybe he's immune. Yeah, I guess so. He's like uh, those people in every fantasy novel ever that, you know, develop immunity to poison by, like, drinking it every day. Yeah. And so, oh. that's what he does. He eats, like, salt for you. This is his other attack. He basically, Whoa. he slows down time, so you move slower, oh, wow. and he doesn't. And it's pretty much a guaranteed hit from him, because you can't yeah, move yeah. fast enough away from him. I'm, so, pretty, I'm pretty impressed about these, like, thinking outside the box little little things. Mm -hmm. Like, from like the environment to boss fights and stuff. Also, yeah. wow, he's like, almost got ya. Yeah, that was a close one. Yeah. If he uses that, like, time-slowing thing a lot more, which he usually does, he can be pretty annoying boss, especially to like Buster Duel like that, but yeah. for some reason he just didn't feel like using it in this battle. That was good for you, yes. Mm -hmm. I don't even know what I tried to say there. I can fix it in post-processing. I can actually make it. I, I will <laughs> just, actually, just yeah, I will actually turn that into a full sentence. Just dub it over, you know, it's like those, those library calls when you have a book. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> it is August 21st, or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and this guy. I think. <laughs> yeah. I like when they change genders, too, in the recording. Like, the person who was saying the dates <laughs> is a guy, and, like, <laughs> the rest of it's a woman. That's always entertaining. Like, this is luck. Stephanie. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think I've ever actually encountered that before, but... Uh, now I'm going to be on the lookout. <laughs>